Hello, my name is Zoe. I'm a financial coach and a qualified debt counselor. Today, I come to talk to you about credit cards and how to properly handle it. The reason why I'm doing this video is because uh, about a year or two ago, I did a video where I was talking about why you don't need a credit card. So today, I've come to talk to you about how to handle a credit card should you decide to get it, which I've also decided to do as well. Now that I have the knowledge that I need in order to handle it correctly, first of all, let us make sure that we do not treat our credit cards as personal loans, which I find that is the mistake that most of us make. We tend to want to pay little by little and then leave it there. Whereas a credit card is actually a revolving loan. Whatever you pay, you can actually use it again. If you are intending on paying off your credit card so that you can close it, here is how you do it. So if you're going to be paying, let's say, 500 rands per month, you pay that into your credit card and then decrease your credit limit by that amount. So some banks allow us to do that on the app. However, if you can't do it on the app, you can certainly call them and ask them to decrease your credit limit by that amount. So every time you pay, you decrease your credit limit until your balance is zero and you can close the account off if you want to. However, I do not suggest that you close your account because a credit card helps you to build a credit score. And here is how you do it. Your credit limit should be something that you can afford to pay off every month. For example, it should be something close to your salary so that you can transfer a large portion of your salary into your credit card and then use your credit card for your day-to-day -day transactions. So if, for example, you're earning, let's say, 2,000 rands, your credit limit can be something like 1.5 or 1.8, leaving some of the money for uh, debit orders and things like that. And then you transfer that amount into your credit card, the amount that is your credit limit. Transfer it into your credit card and use your credit card for day to day. That way you have paid it off. You can use it off completely, max out your credit card, and then repay it again the next month and do it like that. And your credit score is going to shoot up. So as you may know, if you're a person that follows me here on YouTube, I recently did a video about how I got out of debt review. So someone asked me to do a video talking about how life is after getting out of debt. Well, a credit card is how I was able to build my credit score. Like when I got out of debt review, my credit score went from zero to negative four. And then I had to, because I had no debt after I got out of debt review. So I had to start building up the credit score. And how did I do that? I got a credit card and I'm using it in the way that I'm explaining to you in this video. I pay it off every month. If you didn't have this information before and you already have a credit card with the high credit score that you can't pay off every month well fear not just pay whatever you can every month and decrease your credit limit by that amount that you've paid until your credit limit gets to something that you can pay every month and then you can start stop there and then use your credit card in a way that is going to benefit you if you like content like this, do um, subscribe to this channel and watch my other videos. Contact me if you have any questions. Uh, check out my social media pages on the description box. Uh, comment down below. All of those nice things. Till next time. Thank you for watching. In the next video, I'll be talking about how to avoid paying large interest on your credit card.